While many only dream of traveling the world, these people have made travel a priority without being rich and worked hard to turn it into their job. In this documentary series, they tell their story and give you tips how you can make it happen too. Stop dreaming and get inspired to live a life of travel. My name is Gareth Leonard. I'm a travel blogger and videographer for TouristItowny.com and I'm from upstate New York. This is a story about how I left everything comfortable I knew in search of a dream. To live a life filled with substance and passion and adventure. What sparked the travel bug for me and led me down this life of, of travel and adventure was actually a little something different than travel. I was, I was in a desk job, working nine to five, and I, I wasn't living my life to the fullest. I knew there was something out there with more passion and substance that I wanted to be involved in, and I just couldn't place it. So when I had the opportunity to step away from my, my career, I bought a one-way ticket to Buenos Aires, Argentina, and said I'm gonna spend one year traveling around, learning the language, becoming part of the culture, and taking my life and my story into my own hands for once. My goal is to experience this world in an authentic way, by developing meaningful relationships and experiences that'll hopefully transform me from a tourist, someone who knows nothing about a local place, to a townie, that guy at the end of the bar who seems to know everything about the ins and outs of local life and culture. So the first trip that I had, I actually funded the first few months from savings that I had accumulated through my old line of work. But after a few months of living and enjoying the new city, I knew I had to find ways to keep this dream alive financially. So I started looking around at different places for local jobs. And luckily I had met a few friends who got me into a bartending job in the city of Buenos Aires. And from there, in, in years to come, I would work in microfinancing, I would do managing, I would also start building libraries and a bunch of different small jobs that you can do when you travel across the world. So there's a lot of people that teach English and also work in hostels and those are some options. But there's a million different ways you can make money on the ground in different countries. But the big thing that I found and what really kept this dream alive for over seven years now is the fact that I found ways to make money online. So at first I started the travel blog touristitalia.com just to write to my friends and family back home. But as that grew and as the traffic became more and more, I had the opportunity to start offering advertisements and sponsorships on that site. And as that accumulated over time, I saw the big opportunity to make money online through the travel blog and also doing some more marketing, consulting and showing other people how they can make money through social media and through websites and also travel in general. So it was a great opportunity for me to keep the dream alive and also stay financially above water. The most memorable experience, the best trip that I've had to date was an amazing one year uh, adventure in Brazil. So I had the opportunity to travel all around the country and experience some of the most hidden gems of this, this place that many people only know to a few um, stereotypes, if you will. They know the beaches in Rio, they know the women, they know some of the food, but beyond that, it's really a mystery to a lot of people. So uncovering that hidden gem was unbelievable. When the idea came to spend a year living in Brazil, this was the scene I envisioned. A perfect moment watching the sunrise over Rio de Janeiro after a late night with local friends. The reality is, however, when you move to a foreign place with no previous contacts or knowledge of the language, it takes time to get to this point. 
the beginning of the journey actually looked a lot more like this. Alone in a restaurant, unfamiliar with your surroundings, where your only company is loneliness, uncertainty, hope, and ambition. You've arrived, but you're not on vacation. You're living here. And how successful you are is entirely based on how uncomfortable you're willing to be. You start out by learning as much as possible. The language, local customs, anything that can help you connect. Then you get out and explore. Develop an understanding of your new home, new city, new country. At first there's excitement. The excitement driven by the physical shell of the place. The structures that everyone comes to see. So besides the, the incredible beaches of Rio de Janeiro that everyone knows, my top three spots to discover in Brazil off the beaten path would have to be one the place called Florianopolis, one of the most amazing places that I've seen for beaches. It's an island in the south of the country that has tons and tons of beautiful and secluded beaches that many people don't go to outside of the summer months. Number two, it has to be the big city of Sao Paulo. There's a million things to uncover in that city, especially the food and nightlife is unbelievable. Try one of the mortadella sandwiches at the public market, it'll change your life. And number three, the mighty Amazon rainforest up north. Outside of Manaus, you can take a small boat into the jungle, and it's the most remote and incredible experience that I've ever had. You get to stay in hammocks a few nights in the middle of the jungle and just keep your eyes out for jaguars and anacondas and giant spiders. It'll freak you out, but it is a once in a lifetime moment. The number one tip I would give to live this life of travel, to, to escape the world of monotony and discover this planet for all of its beauty is to get away from your comfort zone. Stretch beyond your limitations and turn that dream that you have of living this life into a goal. And in this goal, turning it into a plan. Making that first step, that's the hardest thing to do, is buying a plane ticket. Deciding, make it a decision in your own mind, this is my life and I'm gonna take charge. So many people want this comfort and wanna be in this bubble of everything feels good and everything is, is what I know. But there's so much you can learn about the world and yourself if you break through that and you go towards the uncomfortability. There's nothing sexier in this world than being free. That was incredible, absolutely incredible. To travel deeper with me on my adventures to places like Brazil, Australia, and Bhutan, be sure to subscribe to my channel right up here. And also to learn more about how to travel around the world from experts like myself, be sure to subscribe to this channel right here. And until next time, go out and live your dream. That's it.